We have team coverage on the ground in Ferguson. We begin tonight with KNBC 9's Eli Rosenberg. Eli. Well, guys, there really is something in the air here. Just talking to people, and we have since we've been here on Friday, and you get the sense they just want to know. So with that announcement, less than two hours away now, there is a real sense of urgency here tonight. It's like uh, you're watching a movie, it's, uh, and I can't even express to you how weird it is to sit there and watch it again and again. For Jam Lalani, yeah, the worst part was down here by the windows. There is worry tonight, especially considering Lalani's Delwood market was looted not once, but twice back in August. What went on back then was out of control and definitely not acceptable in my, my world. Lalani and his dad boarded up the store days ago, but has seen business plummet nearly 50% since. But as bad as it's been, and just by the video you can see, it was bad. When I opened the first letter, I was like, wow. Shortly after we and other media broadcast the Lonnie's plight. I don't know if you guys remember, but last time here, they tried to set this part on fire. He started getting unsolicited donations from across the U.S. It was a big um, boost for us to kind of keep going. We're hoping and praying for that everything is going to work out fine. Now, today, for the first time, we started seeing police cars from other agencies in days past. We only saw police cars from St. Louis County and Ferguson. Last night, we told you about Reverend Date M. from Brookside. He and several other people from Kansas City are here. They say they are just looking to keep everything calm, no matter what we learn over the next couple of hours. Live in Ferguson, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News.